Hey, my name is Nick Benger. Today we are working with Zero, who is aggressive towards other dogs. This video is part of a series, so if you haven't checked out the other videos, make sure to do so. We're going to start off with a little bit of parallel walking. This is something that we're going to use a lot with Zero. Essentially what it is, is desensitization, getting him used to being around other dogs and starting to re-socialize him by starting off far away from other dogs and gradually bringing him together as we continue to walk. So let's get straight into it. Parallel walking should always, as much as possible, should be quite a calm thing. Yeah. So if we just stop there, because he is reacting yeah. a bit. Good. Did you see how he made that decision? Good boy. But that was a really good decision there. You yeah. see where he was thinking about barking and then yeah. he turned to you? Yeah. Desensitization is really a gradual, yeah. slow process. Yeah. I can't remember if I said to you last time, it's kind of like if you ne live next to a train station, yeah. you know, eventually you don't hear the trains. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we're going for here. Yeah. You know, where he's just yeah. slowly getting used to being around other dogs, yeah. but in a way that isn't intense. We're not pushing him to the point where he's reacting. And we're doing it in a very non-confrontational way yeah. because yeah. we're not just having him head on greet another dog. Yeah. Another dog's just gradually decreasing yeah. the distance. Yeah. Yeah. If we walk up, along here yeah. and I take Chester yeah. and as we go we're just I'm just going to gradually get closer and closer to you. Okay. I can't believe he's not showing any interest at all. Just watch out there. That's a good approach. I just don't want to push yeah, him too no, far too no. soon. I was just thinking is he going to Good boy. He was quite polite in how he approached. Yeah, normally he just lunges. Yes. And eventually we should get to the point where Zero just gets an opportunity to sniff yeah. maybe Chester's behind, as, do. as dogs love to do. <laughs> what I'm looking for as he goes into this approach is just that he's approaching calmly. Yes, yeah. Not so he's looking at his facial expressions as we move forwards. Yeah. That he doesn't start tensing up. Yeah. Obviously, if we keep doing this, say that we did this, you know, quite a few times with Chester, eventually what would happen is he would be great with Chester. Yes. But yeah. then we need to do it enough times yeah. that, uh, oh, we're going in for a little sniff there. Keep it moving, Sky. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> is that the first time he's done that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the closest we've ever got him to another dog apart from our own. Yeah. He just... Yeah. You can. Do you know what I mean? Because he's lunging and pulling yeah. and yeah. people with dogs are like, oh my god, and sort of walking the other way. When you have a dog that needs to be socialised, yeah. this is how we need to do it. Because yeah. we're taking all of the confrontation, all of the kind of social pressure off of him. Yeah, yeah. And that means that we can start to socialise him in a way that's safe. Yeah. 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 And that he's comfortable with. We're not pushing him further than he can handle. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, if we keep doing this with Chester, he'll get fantastic with Chester. Yeah. But what we need to do is get this to the point where he goes, okay, Chester's all right. Yeah. Okay, Chester and Pablo are all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Chester, Pablo and Louis are yeah. all right. Oh, hang on a minute, dogs aren't that yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, just widen his social circle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Have you got friends with dogs? Yeah. Is this something that you could do with them? Yeah. Obviously, uh, don't push it further than you're comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. See, today, obviously, I'm with you, so we've got to the point where he can sniff Chester. Yeah, yeah. But if you just wanted to just walk, you know, a couple of metres apart, that would yeah, be fine. Yeah. Ideally, you know, a great starting place is the calmer dogs. Yeah. That's why I bring Chester along yeah, a lot. Yeah. Because he is quite, he's old and calm. Yeah, and he is. He's not too... Uh, I've over done that. Yes, <laughs> he's not too excitable or no. intimidating for dogs. No. So there's two sides of this training, you know, there's the forming positive associations with other dogs, yeah. which is happening a bit here anyway, because yeah. he's getting the treats and he's, he's having a good time. Yeah. But really the bulk of the work there is done with looking at the dog, looking back at us, yeah. getting affection, getting rewards, yeah. and we're really starting to go yeah. to form those positive associations. So he goes, he sees a dog and thinks, 
wow, there's a dog there, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Instead of, there's a dog there, let me try and scare it away. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. there's a desensitization side of it, which is what we're doing now. Hey, look, there's a dog there. It doesn't matter yeah. so much. Yeah. Walking with dogs is normal. Yeah. 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 Good! Oh. Well done! Well, how do you feel about that, Sue? That, that was amazing. That Great. was, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't good. know what else to say. I'm speechless. Good. So yeah, he was really, really good. So what I wanted to do was parallel walk to the park. Uh -huh. So if you stay and take the same route that we did last yeah. time and yeah. I'll go on the other side. Yeah. And then once we get to the park, try and do more stuff that is static because I know that's where it's harder yes. when we're actually standing still yeah, yeah. that seems to be more of a struggle yeah, yeah. so if I go get Chester and I will yeah. walk on that side of the road okay. and we'll just walk up to the park yeah cool all right yeah. Oops. Much better, Sue. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Nice, Sue. That's really good. All right, Sue. Do you want to? If we just stop and have a chat, and do you, do you want to just reward him anytime he pays attention to you? Because this is now when we stop. That's much harder for him to yeah. handle. Yeah. So anytime he's, he starts turning back to you, if you reward him. Yeah. Good boy. Perfect. Just sit, sit. Good. Good boy. What's this? Like even the, the whining is a little bit of frustration, isn't it? Yeah. The, it's harder for him to cope when we're standing still. Yeah. 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 Can I take him as well, Sue? Yeah. Can we walk them together? Yeah. Actually, now we've started to break down his reactivity, Sue. What we're seeing is a lot of frustration. Yeah. Once you get past that initial reactivity and he gets the opportunity to meet other dogs, it's just playfulness. Yeah. It's just, I really want to play with the yeah. other dog. Yeah. Like we've broken down that barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is great. It's fantastic. It's just we need to break down that reactivity, don't yes. we? Yes. With enough dogs. Yeah. I mean, it's great doing it with Chester. We need to do it with every dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chester. you get rid of that. There you go. Thank you. There you go. There we go. That's better. There you go. <laughs> How does it feel to walk? In with another dog. <laughs> it looks really good. I don't, I don't even feel stressed or anything. I just yeah. feel like. Fatigue. Yeah. Just it's just like he's not bothered really. And like when he saw that other dog in here as well. Yeah. He kept looking. Yeah. But there was no instant aggression. Yeah. Which was nice. Well, yeah. a bit noisy, but fine. in shot he didn't react at all there's nothing mm. even when that when that one came up behind i thought oh my god he's gonna just go mental yeah and there was nothing and i'm just like wow at, at this point we've broken down a lot of the reactivity and what we're left with is frustration yeah he just 
he didn't react at all. There was nothing. So once you, with frustration, dogs that are frustrated, once you get close, the frustration goes because they have the opportunity to meet. Right. And then you don't see reactivity. Right, okay. So by us always keeping away, yeah. that's just making him worse in a sense. That we're getting the reactivity because of that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we let him greet, there's a very good chance that you just get that. Right, okay. But the way that we greeted them was very particular. So what we yeah. did was, some people call that curving. Okay. As we go round, so we're not taking a direct route. Right, you're not heading straight for them. So if we're going to introduce him to dogs in the park, that's the way to do it. Right, okay. And obviously okay. it does help to have a nice social dog like Chester. Yes, yeah. That can take some of the pressure off of him yeah. to interact. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this this has definitely given me the confidence to go over here. Definitely. After that, especially with all those little dogs as well, and barking at him as well. Keep him moving, Sue. Good. And if you, yeah, good. Basically, when people have this issue of frustration reactivity, yeah. they get themselves into this catch-22 where they start avoiding other dogs, yeah. but because they're avoiding other dogs, other dogs become more valuable, yeah. so the dog reacts even more, yeah. and they just end up in this constant cycle. Yeah. Once you get the yeah. dog interacting with other dogs more, they become less valuable, yeah. and it's less noteworthy. Yeah. It's less yeah. of a thing to react to. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and they inspired you to do some training with your own dogs. We're going to be training lots of different dogs with lots of different issues. So make sure you hit subscribe to check out our next videos.